revenue accounts and capital accounts in the trial balance. We reach the first fundamental document prepared at the end of an accounting cycle, the trial balance. From this trial balance, we shall compute the income statement, IS, of the cycle and the balance sheet, BS, of the end of the cycle. The income statement is a presentation of the sales and the corresponding cost, also called charges, also called consumptions, during the period. Accounting softwares enable you to post conveniently all the transactions during the accounting period and compute automatically the trial balance. And the spreadsheet at this address, http colon double slash lapasarel.com slash online underscore courses slash accounting slash revenue underscore and underscore capital underscore accounts slash mini underscore accounting dot xls is a rudimentary version of such a software. We have already used it in the past lessons. Let's use it again and modify a bit the journal from the past lessons to see the impact on the trial balance. Now we put only 9,000 euros at the beginning, we take 7,000 to bank, the van costs 3,100, the rent 1,200, we purchase goods from Deirdre. These items cost 40 euros a piece, I remind you. We pay shop expenses, we sell goods on credits, the same items have a selling price of 100 euros per item. We settle Jules' account, the, the van, by check. We receive a partial payment from Sally. We take Sally's cash to bank. We send a check to Deirdre. She's uh, the supplier of goods. Uh, 1,250 euros. We purchase some more. Uh, here, again, we buy these things at 40 euros a piece. We have cash sales. We purchase a machine, etc. So the numbers have changed a little bit from the past lessons. The trial balance therefore changes. Once again, the two totals must be equal. We shall see that, uh, or we see that the bank account has a balance in debit of 1,950 euros. The capital is a 9,000. The cash account has a balance in debit of 2,000. I made sure during these uh, transactions that the cash account never went into credit because it's impossible and I also made sure that the bank account never went into credit. It is possible but it requires an agreement from the banker. So James' account uh, has not been settled entirely so at the end of the cycle James remains a creditor for 1000. We have the bank loan and the other things that uh, we have already studied. I strongly encourage you once again to go from this journal and make the computations by yourself, all the posting, in other words, on, a, on sheets of paper, in order to reach this trial balance. That will be an exercise that will uh, show you exactly how things are done. From this trial balance, to compute the income statement, we must extract the sales and the cost, also called charges or consumptions, of the period that correspond to the sales. And the difference will be the profit or loss of the accounting cycle. So next to the sales account, some of the accounts record consumptions of the cycle in order to produce the sales. Let's check them out. And uh, we shall call them R for revenue. The bank account is not a consumption account, nor the capital, nor cash, nor James. This is a creditor uh, because he supplied machinery. The long-term bank load is not a charge account, it's a liability account. The machinery is not a charge account, it's an acquisition, but it is an investment. Jules is not a charge, whereas suppliers, uh, I'm sorry, it's purchases is a charge account uh, that I note with an R. The rent is a charge account 
The address is not. Salaries is a charge account. The sales is uh, also an account that will go into the income statement. Salaries is not. Shop expenses is. And the van is not. So these are the accounts that will go into the income statement. The sales account and the other accounts recording charges, which I just um, checked off, are called the revenue accounts. That is why I wrote an R next to them. And their balances will form the income statement. But there will be some work before we have a, a correct income statement. The other accounts record assets or liabilities, and they are called capital accounts. Let's check them off again. So the bank is a capital account. It's assets, money we have at the bank. The capital account is a liability of a special type, so it's a capital account. The cash is definitely assets, so it's a capital account. James, it's a liability, it's a capital account. So is the long-term loan. So is machinery. It's an asset of the firm. It's a capital account. Jules is an account that has been settled, but it's a capital account. Purchases is not. Rent is not. Deirdre, the supplier of goods, she's a creditor here for 5,150 euros. It's a capital account. Capital is not. Sales is not. Sally uh, is a capital account. We have, it's an asset. Sally owes us 500 euros. It's debt of paper. The shop expenses is not a capital account. And the van is a capital account. It records an asset, the van in our firm. The capital accounts will form the balance sheet. But before we can compute an exact income statement, and an exact balance sheet, some more work is required. We must adjust the trial balance that we just saw with some more entries, and this will be done in the next lecture.